In paradise, God will recreate people with perfect beauty and give them the most pleasing forms. And this beauty will not be limited to one form. God will give his servants in paradise the choice of whatever form they desire at any time so that the people of paradise can have a variety of beautiful forms whenever they want. The prophet tells us that believers can select a form they like from the markets in paradise and assume it. There is in paradise a market wherein there will be no buying and selling, but forms of men and women. So when a man wishes a form, he will enter into it. In paradise, God offers limitless blessings to those of his servants who have pleased him, but above all other blessings is the fact that they have won his favor. They have given their worldly goods to earn his pleasure and dedicated their lives to him. In paradise, they enjoy the pure happiness of having attained their life's goal. In the Quran, God tells us what a great blessing it is to earn his favor. God has promised the men and women of the believers gardens with rivers flowing under them, remaining in them timelessly, forever, and fine dwellings in the gardens of Eden. And God's good pleasure is even greater. That is the great victory. Another verse reveals that believers will enjoy every type of happiness in paradise. Their reward is with their Lord. Gardens of Eden with rivers flowing under them, remaining in them timelessly, forever and ever. God is pleased with them, and they are pleased with Him. That is for those who fear their Lord. In a hadith we are told that the people of paradise are pleased in God's presence. So they will say, At your service and your good pleasure, and all good is in your hands. He will say, Are you pleased? They will say, Why should we not be pleased, Lord, when you have given us that which you have not given any others of your creatures? Besides all the other blessings we have mentioned, the greatest and most important will be the closeness of the people of paradise to God. In many hadith, our prophet gives believers these glad tidings. O Messenger of God, will we see our Lord on the day of rising? He said, Would you doubt about seeing the moon on the night of the full moon, and no screen in between you and it? They said, No, Messenger of God. He said, Would you doubt about seeing the sun when there are no clouds between you and it? They said, No. 
He said, In the same way you will see him. Of course, all the blessings of paradise are abundant and of great value. There is no place to go in the hereafter other than paradise or the fire. A person who is not accepted into paradise by God will go to the fire. In this world, God alternately shows people good and evil, beauty and ugliness, positive and negative. This is so that the devout can make a comparison and the joy they take in beauty may increase. Some verses in the Quran demonstrate that God shows the people of paradise the state of those in the fire, which may also increase their contentment in paradise and their joy at being saved from the fire, and God knows the truth. The joy the people of paradise feel at having been spared by the mercy of God, the torment of hell is described in another hadith. <laughs> All the people of paradise will see hell and will say, What if God had not guided me? And they will rejoice and give thanks. Another hadith that describes the great mercy and blessings enfolding believers reads, Entering paradise and escaping hell is all blessing. God reveals the joy that the people of paradise experience. They will say, Praise be to God who has guided us to this. We would not have been guided had God not guided us. The messengers of our Lord came with the truth it will be proclaimed to them, This is your garden which you have inherited for what you did. The immaculate nature and flawlessness of paradise is a beauty that people spend their lives in this world seeking but never find. In addition to all these blessings, it is therefore a great blessing to long for paradise in this world and feel the hope of being worthy of it and to experience the joy of our Lord's promise of paradise. What we have discussed here is not, of course, the sum total of the joys believers will experience in paradise. God will give believers the finest reward in paradise for all their deeds. In the Quran, God tells us that the people of paradise live there in continual thankfulness and happiness. They will say, Praise be to God who has fulfilled his promise to us and made us inheritors of this land, letting us settle in the garden wherever we want. How excellent is the wage of those who work.